Oil price is set to hit 100 bucks a barrel. What does this mean? Would it cost more to heat your home? More importantly, what's going to happen with the price of food? Let's take a look. All right, guys, here we go. It's live. Markets are open right now, and oil is sitting, sitting steady at $92.80 for oil right now. There's the, uh, the marker there or the ticker uh, for oil. And right now it is moving and it is moving and it's fast tracking upwards. Could it be rumors of war? Could it be? Well, here it goes. More gains for crude as demand skyrockets $100 oil forecast again. So $91 a barrel posting a 17% monthly gain. Additionally, a damaged oil pipeline in Ecuador caused further supply worries and snowstorms in eastern U.S. boosted demand for fuels. West Texas Intermediate rose 133 to settle at $88.15 per barrel, while Brent uh, for March settlement gained 1.18 uh, to $91.21 a barrel. So I kind of want to throw that out there. Let's go into this. Oil rallies on big drawdown in U.S. crude stocks, strong demand. So that's kind of important to, to throw out there. Also, the Biden administration responded to high prices by... Again, uh, stating this week that it has been talking with large producers about more output. So it looks like the world's coming out of this COVID sickness and going into re going back into what it was. But it's would it go back to what it was? I don't know because markets are not uh, responding uh, to it nicely. So again, Newfoundland home heating costs are on the rise, and no and one homeowner says she feels out in the cold. My heat bill, my, my heat bill to heat my house, just, and I have a Comey heater all in one combination unit. I pay eight, seven, eight hundred dollars a month for, for heat, and it's plus 10 degrees outside. So it's getting, it's getting warmer here, luckily, and hopefully my gas bill does trend downwards um, in the next couple of uh, months. I really hope so. But paying so much money, paying for carbon tax, a couple, 160, 70 bucks for carbon tax. It is a transportation fees, which it's in a pipe in the ground. So what is gonna happen with food? Well, let's get to food. Now here on the channel for many years, and I like to brag about this too. Uh, we've been talking for many years how, look at this, price of oil dropped, but food prices go up. Oil prices go down and food rises. Eating out is unquestionably pricey. This is six years ago uh, when, when, when oil was going down to pretty much 20 bucks a barrel. Massive food shortage prices up 830%. By, so food to skyrocket by, by 2021, 830%. So food price increase in 2017 to, 20, uh, to, 2017 to 2021, uh, 830 typical impact of inflation. Um, food price now unaffordable two years ago. Uh, food price have surpassed my rent six years ago. So this is what's happening right now. And we've been tying it to oil for many years. And the reason why is because the transportation of food, right? Look, price of oil dropped, but food goes up. Makes no sense. Six years. There, what's happening is they use the cover of the price of the price of oil going up with the food increase. So they use that as a cover. Yeah, your food's going up. Yeah. It's a good way to somewhat hide the inflation of food by blaming it on oil, right? Just blame somebody else. So blame the oil. But realistically, oil went down to almost 20 bucks. Let me see if I could find that video. It went almost down to $20 a barrel. And um, th this is from the our channel that's banned. Uh, so went down and, and, and it caused a major disruption. And the price of food still kept going up. Now... There it is in the news. Food prices approach record highs. Don't expect grocery store prices to come down anytime soon. U.S. inflation spikes higher for January as markets see Fed action in 2022. Inflation hits uh, the fast food counter. So with energy shortages in Europe, with war looming in the Ukraine, with all this crap that's happening right now, we're seeing it. Now it's taking effect. What are they going to blame the inflation on? They've been blaming the inflation on food for many years on the price of oil. Because when oil goes up, the transportation costs go up, the price of production goes up, the price of distribution and all that stuff goes up. But the problem is oil went down to almost $20 a barrel six years ago on record. You could look it up and it would show you that the price of food kept going up because there's no way to hide. Now, they're going to obviously, what's going to happen to food, food's going to continuously keep going up as the price of oil goes up because it's a perfect cover. Are we gonna see hot war? 
In 2019, I said on Mike and the Night Live, they're going to pull the trigger on a pandemic very soon in the summer of 2019. Or it was hot war. Hot war is on the horizon now. And let's see what happens with Ukraine. And let's see what happens with Russia. My opinion on Russia is Russia couldn't care about um, uh, Western Ukraine. They just want the east part of Ukraine, the Russian-speaking part. And uh, Russia is in dire straits and they need to invade uh, I'm not saying I want them to. I'm just saying they have in, in the strategic point right now, Putin needs to invade uh, Ukraine because the Ukrainian government there is not bought and paid for. I know you can't believe that, but it's true. He works for no side. He told NATO to screw off, told Russia to screw off, told everyone to screw off. And tensions are building. So what's going to happen? I don't know. I would look at uranium and oil stocks right now as a potential buy for right now. I, I was in oil from a long time ago. I was red. R uh, Ricky Spanish messaged me and said, hey, Mike, you know, because he's on Mike in the night. He calls me and says, hey, Mike, oil's going to hit 100 bucks a barrel. I've been watching oil. I'm like, holy crap. Let me check my stocks. I'm like, thank God I'm out of the red. But still, a lot of people will be going into the red when the price of food starts to, uh, when they start uh, inflating the price of food to offset other BS or give us more BS on why it's going up. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Lots of love. This is important that uh, this message gets out there because food will become unaffordable in the next six months to a majority of middle-class families. If you're living in the blue states um, and you're in the expansion territories of Amerifornia, Amerifornia is happening in America like I predicted with the, the Biden selection, the day of the Biden selection, not election, selection of Biden. I ridding you that Amerifornia was going to take place where the blue states will conquer all the red states and turn entire continent of America into California. I live in California. Canada is completely California. Fentanyl overdoses, youth dying on the streets, money laundered through Chinese gangs into empty buying homes and leaving them empty, properties skyrocketing everywhere. In Canada, we're very limited where we could live. So America, at least you have choice still. But choices will run out. Amerifornia will come to get you. Mike Martins here. I have spoken.